What's up, everybody? Man, it's Charles. I'm back with another video today. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, please take the time to go ahead and subscribe. It definitely will support me. Um, if you don't know who I am or what my channel is about, I am a online arbitrage seller from eBay to Amazon. I focus primarily on flipping used items onto the Amazon FBA platform. Um, same thing you guys been hearing as far as online arbitrage, just a different, uh, just a different avenue to it. Um, today, man, I want to have a quick video. This video is going to be rather quick. I want to just talk about the idea behind getting started, right? Not only getting started, but the ability to keep going. Um, I think a lot of people who are in this space or in just entrepreneurs as a whole, right? You kind of hit that mental barrier a lot of times or hit that, that, that just that rut sometimes was like, man, like, what do I do? Or you want to give up, you want to quit. And I understand that that's kind of normal. Um, and I want to just kind of talk about myself for a second, man. Like I've been doing Amazon FBA for about two months now, right? And I've seen some success. And the good thing about it is like this month, my company, the company is going to be profitable, right? So the ideas that I thought about actually work. But I'm sitting here last night and I'm I'm, so, I'm trying to source and trying to find new items. And in my mind, man, I had so many mental barriers that was just like, I had, you know, I, I, I stopped for a little bit. Like I stopped for a few hours because it just wasn't working for me. Like the ideas of, uh, of, of of storefront stalking, the ideas of just trying to find products. I'm like, man, I, I got to do all this all over again for a whole for the month, month in and month out, you know, and it's like, you know, in, in my brain, I don't want to call them excuses, but they are excuses just to be, tr just be transparent. Like all these excuses are adding up in my brain and it's kind of, help me be like, man, Charles, just stop doing this real quick, right? And I think no matter what business or, or industry you're in, you're going to hit that mental barrier. You're going to hit that roadblock where the, the thing is you have to just kind of keep pushing, right? You can be in real estate. You can be, I don't know, own a hair salon. You can do whatever you want to do, but what are you going to do when, you know what I'm saying? you? It's kind of you against you. It's not even kind of, it is you against you, right? The thing of the matter is I know that over these last 30 days, I wasn't as consistent when it comes to just sitting down for 45 minutes to an hour a day and finding new products, right? So at the end of the day, the excuse that I made up last night was kind of, you know, BS because at the end of the day, if I would have been doing what I told myself I should be doing, which is sourcing for an hour a day last night, I wouldn't have had to try to find new products. All I would have had to do, all I would have had to do was just click on the products that I've already found and buy them. But... I got complacent. I got comfortable because at the end of the day, I found some products that was profitable. I sent them all in. I'm like, hey, I know these things are going to make money. So now I'm just sitting, chilling, watching those things sell. But now it's like, okay, now it's going to be October. Now what are you going to do? Right? So at the end of the day, I have nobody to blame but myself. And I realize it's just you versus you. And the crazy thing about it is once I'm starting, as I start to see things sell, I, I, I realize that this process is definitely doable. It's all a game now. And that's the weird part for me. It's like, I look at it all like a game. Like, I don't worry about if products are going to sell. I don't worry about, you know, who's coming on the listing. I don't worry about none of that. All I know is when I buy the products, I'm buying them at a, at a good enough profit margin for me to go ahead and not have to worry about nothing, right? Now, at that point, all I have to worry about is uh, scaling and, and, and making sure I have the capital available um, and, 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 and kind of keep going. So that mental barrier that I'm, that I'm building within myself is just with, from me. It's like I'm, I'm talking to myself, building that mental barrier. And I feel like it's a lot of people out there that are just like me, right? If you're just starting or if you just start, you know, or if you're in the first two or three months, you're going to go through roadblocks. You're going to go through things where it, it kind of, you got to make up excuses in your mind for you to quit. And I think that's what differentiates people uh, who are successful from, from those who are not. Right, not only in this space, but in any space, you know. So it's like, what are we gonna do? Even if you get it started in the Amazon FBA space, um, I would say just you know, kind of learn from the mistakes. Look at the previous videos that I put up, and you'll be able to see that you know I kind of went through the same things everybody's gonna go through. How do I get started? Should I get started? Uh, you know, I, I was scared to buy my first product. I was scared to buy, spend my first thousand dollars. And the crazy thing is, as I've as I've done that. I've kind of seen that, man, this stuff works. So now I'm not as nervous or I'm not as timid. I mean, I'm not as, you know, timid to do that. I can just go ahead and spend the money because I know, hey, at the end of the day, the worst thing that's going to happen is I'm going to make my money back. So I want to get on here and talk about that, man. It's, it's, it's all it's all mental, man. It's all 
uh, with thinking yourself, it's all a mental barrier. It's all excuses that we sell ourselves to make to, to, to honestly not become successful. But at the end of the day, we have to overcome all of those excuses in order to be successful. And not just, you know, I don't want to call them excuses because at the end of the day, I feel like it's a negative connotation associated with saying the word excuses. But just to be transparent, it is an excuse or, you know, it's something that we tell ourselves to not get started or it's something that we tell ourselves to not keep going. Right. And then an analogy like we go to the gym, we go to the gym and lift weights for a week. And next week it's like, oh, man, I'm sore, but I'm feeling good. So I don't got to go this week. Well, now you just depleted the whole uh, week of, of success you just had by not doing nothing. And it kind of and, and that analogy kind of, you know, translate to anything in business. Like la- like last month I was I was hammering. I was killing it every day on this computer, finding products this month. I did it for two or three weeks, but I, I took a whole week and a half off because I'm like, man, those products aren't going to sell. I'm going to get up and go about my day, and I'll check about, check on it later. And now I'm dealing with, now I'm you know paying for that because now it's a couple of days left to the beginning of the month. This is the week where I usually spend my money on inventory, and now I have to sit here for a whole you know few hours a day trying to find new products, right? But the good thing is, at the end of the day, I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up and be like, oh, I made some money, so let me go ahead and leave. I'm going to keep going. I'm like, all right, let me build from what I did. At the end of the day, I'm going to sit down, not do nothing, sit here, and just grind it out and keep going. So I think that's the mentality that a lot of people have has to uh, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of take on is the ability to just not give up and the ability to, to keep pushing, the ability to just say, hey, at the end of the day, all the excuses don't matter. Let's go ahead and get this thing done, um, and let's get to it, man. So I think that's what I want to get on here and talk about and get off my chest today. Like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, man, please take the time to go ahead and look at the previous videos. I got some sourcing videos, got cost of Amazon videos. And if you guys want to see anything else, I'm pretty transparent. I will be posting the next video. Uh, I mean, within the next few videos, I'll be posting my, my month two uh, numbers when it comes to my business. I think I did pretty good this month. But next month, we got to keep doing it and keep going and, and getting bigger, man. So uh, please, like I said, take the time to go ahead and like and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.